Here we have an Asus Astral 5090 video card that came in for repair. Right here, that's one big card and one expensive card, three to four thousand dollars. The customer said he paid thirty-six hundred dollars, including taxes, one month ago. Only one month ago. So what happened? He has the card plugged into a riser cable inside the desktop, and the desktop is put somewhere on top. While away from the room, he heard a loud noise, a loud bang. He went inside the room, and the desktop fell. The video card broke off the riser cable, and he brought it straight here. Now, the customer said to check the PCIe connector, and he also mentioned that the plate broke off. You can see how the inserts are bent, and I told him this may be cosmetic. It may not affect the functionality of the card unless the plate is shoved deep inside and damaged some components. But right now, we did not take the housing off, the water block off. I do, however, see with the naked eye damage on the PCIe connector. I told them we'll do our best. I do not know what type of damage we are looking at, and I do not know if we have a cracked PCIe connector. And right off the bat, we see a missing pin. And which pin is this? This is pin 82. Pin 82 is hot plug detect. Right? This is pin 82. We have 11 pins on the side. Yeah, this is pin 82. Pin 82 is hot plug detect. We have more than one hot plug detect on the connector, each for a separate port. And what happens is when you plug the monitor to any one of the display ports on the video card, the monitor will send a low signal to initiate communication with the video card. If Windows does not detect a handshake with the video card because we have a broken pin for that specific port, then Windows is going to think that you do not have the screen or monitor plugged in. Right now, I see damage here. We have a totally ripped pad. We're going to have to restore that pad to that line right here. And I do not know if this is a crack or not. This does not look like a mark. It looks like I do not know how deep this is. Yeah, it's very shallow. I don't think it will affect the functionality of the card. And I do not know what's under. Let me flip the card, check the back. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Looks like some type of wire, maybe it's ground. Let me measure quick. I pray and hope that this is ground meter in diode mode or continuity mode, whichever one you want. And if we measure, yes, yes, ground. Okay, so we can UV mask it, hide it. And this guy here is ground also. If we measure from here to here, right, no, yeah, ground. ground. So this is ground and this is ground. And we do not need to do anything here. We can just UV mask it. That's all we have to do from the back. And that's all I see wrong right now. I hope the crack that we see, that minor crack, is not deep enough to cause any issues. This is a multi-layer board. I do not know how many layers, 12 to 14 layers. And you have wires running through the layers. I do not know if there's anything running through here, through this piece here. Hopefully not. If you have any information, if there are any wires running through this piece of the board, leave it down in the comments. Let me know.
But for now, what we're going to do is restore this pad, UV mask the back, and we're going to try it. Right now, the damage I see is workable as long as the crack is not causing any damage. That's my only concern. If that crack is causing damage, then we're going to most likely hear six beeps when we try to power the car down. Let's go ahead and restore that trace. And I'm going to remove a pad from a donor board, any donor board. You know what I like about the 5090 is the PCIe connector is wide. The pin is not reaching all the way down. You see, look at the distance between here and here. Because a lot of times we get video cards in with damaged pads on the PCIe connector and the pad is reaching all the way to the bottom makes it hard to restore like look at this card here we do have a tiny bit of a gap but sometimes the board gets damaged and we do not have enough board to glue that pad on i have another donor board here same and if we look at this 5090 we have a bigger gap we have like this much of a bigger gap nice Let's grab a pad from here. So I'm gonna apply some heat because those pads are glued into the board. And I'm using blade number four. You can find this blade on our website along with all the tools that we use on the bench here everything from soldering station hot air station oops we lost it we lost it okay let's do this one so like i said whatever you need just log into northwitchfix.com click on shop add to car checkout pay and we almost always ship out same day that's my mat. And the mat that I have looks like the surface of the moon. Craters, burns, holes. Okay. That's good enough for me. Now, what we need to do is we need to glue this pad on the board. So I'm going to apply a tiny bit of glue. I'm going to put the pad on and we're going to have to wait until that piece is glued on the board. What time is it right now? It's 3.23. I leave around 4.10, 4.20. So maybe I hope that it can make a connection within 10 minutes so I can continue the video. We're going to grind that wire and make a connection with this pad and then we can try out the card and see how it goes
Now, if you look here, the pad is solid, but it does mention for the glue that it could take up to 24 hours for the glue to fully harden. But I want to test it. I do not want to wait until tomorrow. The pad looks solid to me. And we secured the top. The wire is soldered onto the top piece. And everything looks nice. The pad is a bit thicker. The pads on the 5090 are thin. That's OK. Now let's go ahead and plug in the cord. As long as that crack is not going to cause any issues, hopefully it's just on the surface. The cord is plugged in, and you cannot see a thing. We're going to plug in the power cable. And I just want to see an image on the screen. I'm not going to be able to stress test the card because the card has a water block on it. But as long as we see an image, we're going to call it fixed. And later on, Big Boss can test it and make sure everything is good. The card is going to heat up within a minute or two. And it may even shut off after a minute or two. Hopefully, we're not going to get six beeps. All right, are you ready? Actually, let me turn the camera a bit to the right, a bit to my right. And we want to look at the monitor. The customer was asking if the card is a no fix, can I still sell it? I told him, yeah. Chinese companies would love to buy it for the core and memory, but hopefully we can fix it. One, two, and three. Power is on. No six beeps. Are we going to see an image? Are we going to see an image? Yes, yes, yes. I was worried about the crack. Wow. The card is on. And look at this. It's already... <laughs> It's already hot. We did not stress test the card yet, and it's already hot. I mean, it's a 5090. And I do not know if it's going to make it all the way to Windows. Yes, it did. And awesome, amazing. I did not want to keep the card on for longer, but I was able to load up to boot up to Windows. And wow, wow, amazing. The customer is going to be very happy. He was concerned. He only had it for one month. But accidents can happen. We're going to call the customer. He's local. And we'll give him the good news. He paid for expedited. We got the card today, and I worked on it today. I told him one to eight days for expedited, but I worked on it today. And look at how many video cards we have on our bench. This one is the 6900. This one is a very expensive card. Let me put it on the side. And I have an Xbox that came in a few days ago. Let me show you what's going on. This is the real Hiroshima. Look at this. The customer attempted to replace the HDMI connector and he created a Hiroshima of a mess. He said it's not working. I do not know if I'm going to spend the time to go over 19 pins, rerun the wires, the traces, not knowing if there's anything else wrong with the board. I don't know. I put it on the side until I think about it, if I want to work on it or no. Look at this. I do not know if this is touching this. It's a horrible job. Wow. I don't know. We also have three iPads that we need to work on. One, two, and three. A lot of work for this week. All the stuff I have in my room here are stuff that we need to get done ASAP. 
Let me just unplug the video card. I want to look at the work that we did after I plugged the card in. And look at this. It did not even move. Even though the glue takes around 24 hours to heal 100%, but the pad is making a good connection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Amazing.